what keeps me here? Yeah. Um, Maya. Maya <laughs> keeps me here because, uh, don't take it the wrong way, um, <laughs> keeps me here as in I know how powerful Maya is and I know how horrible, I mean, just think to yourself how horrible the outside world can be, you know, you've always got these wars going on, there's world hunger, disease, all these things, not that disease doesn't come here, but all these things that go goes on around you, you know, people getting murdered, raped, shot, you know, all these things are horrible, but you're protected in this uh, temple atmosphere, you'll never have to go through any of that, so you know, out the outside world, it's a, it's a harsh environment, if you haven't got, you know, things like the resources to keep you know, to give you security, but here it's all provided for you. Krishna gives you everything. He gives you protection. He, you got food. You got clothing. You got great association. You got nothing to worry about. Mm. All you got to do is focus on your spiritual advancement. You know, you don't need to worry about. Oh, am I, I going to have enough money to pay the rent? Or uh, you know, we're running out of food. Or I wonder where my children are, so to speak. You know, it's just a nice, peaceful atmosphere, and you know, simple living, higher thinking. Does temple life suit you? Does it suit me? Uh, Be honest. <laughs> honest, right. Yeah. The getting up early, I love. I actually love the getting up early and having a shower at four in, uh, three in the morning. Three fifteen. Well, it's between uh, it three thirty and four. <laughs> yeah, three fifteen in the morning. Depending on how many times you press snooze. Yeah, depending on how how often the snooze button is is found and pushed, uh, I'll, I'll get up at varying times. But yeah, we we put our alarm for three fifteen generally. Three fifteen, yeah, yeah. onwards. So yeah, I like having, I like getting up early and having a shower, and that's not spiritual life. That's just having a shower. I like getting up early and going to Mangalati, which is the initial morning program, singing, and singing to the deities. Singing to the deities, um, just being in that atmosphere where everyone's focused on Krishna. That's amazing. Mm. Uh, uh, so I love. I think I'm very, very sick to that. Um, the things I've struggled with are things like, is this a, is this a late question? Or, no, no, remember. carry on. Yeah, things. Something I've struggled with is uh, there's actually one one case where I got food poisoning, and a few people got food poisoning, and yeah. uh, these are people say these are often tests. Yeah. By um, from Maya from illusion that are given to you, um, and to see if you can overcome it, and I kind of failed the test a little bit because I became a bit of a drama queen, <laughs> <laughs> and I just got, went around for five days saying God's drama queen. And I didn't really take it in a spiritual way, which is unfortunate because it was... You know, it doesn't matter. Really nice. Every experience is yeah. to learn from. Mm, so yeah. may maybe next time it happens, you'll be a bit more uh, prepared. Well, that's it. Now, at the moment, I've got a mouth ulcer. It's a smaller test, but at the same time, it's, it hurts. And I'm trying to, uh, trying to use Work it. through the pain. Yeah. Through um, the pain! We actually had a class from Ruben Prabhu the other yeah. day. And he um, was talking about death and how we should prepare for you know, the pain we feel at death. Because we need to obviously remember Krishna at death. At uh, the point of death, so um, you know, if we can't get through like a cold without you know, freaking out, then how are we going to get through death, which is like the most painful thing? You know, t t detaching our souls coming out of our body, it's like the most painful thing we're going to feel. Yeah. yeah, so um, we need to prepare well, every time well, we get ill, yeah. to pre prepare for that by thinking um, of Krishna, thinking of Krishna, and working through the pain and seeing the bigger picture. So I'm going to try and that's something I've learned. The yeah. big thing I've learned is that you know, getting ill, it's a good be chance taken, to yeah. practice. For the, the test of death. Yeah. Just whenever you're ill, try and focus on Krishna, yeah, even though it. you're in excruciating pain. So yeah, so I found that test, but in a way, I kind of it's helped me because yeah. I know in the future, when I get ill, I'm going to take it in a good way. Generally, you'll get about six, five, six hours during the night. And if you're lucky, you may get an hour's rest during the day. He can't scrunch in paper bags and... Yeah, I'm in doughies. Generally, I'll do, I'll do an example. Imagine you're sleeping, you're just drifting off, you're counting sheep, and then suddenly... Bag rustling. No one hates the... No one likes the bag rustling. No one likes the bag rustler. <laughs> bag rustling is not nice when you're trying to sleep. Yeah. So, yeah. And you've got to be prepared to give up your privacy, because mm. there's always other bhaktas or uh, brahmacharis around you. Yeah. So you've got to be prepared to... Not have your, you've got to give up your personal space. Yeah. You know, austerity is in giving up sleep to a certain extent and uh, less eating. No, that's not true. Well, <laughs> well, you know, not well ge generally, that's the idea. We want to yeah, cut down our yeah. eating so we can spend more time focusing on uh, Krishna consciousness. The devotees here are very nice, they're not pushy. So they, ba they basically say, whatever you're comfortable with doing, then you know, go at your own pace. So, uh, yeah. Is there anything you want to say to uh, inspiring bhaktas out there? Aspiring Any, uh, or inspiring? Yeah, aspiring. <laughs> yeah. Aspiring. Sorry, inspiring. Uh, I'd like to say um, do it, definitely do it. Because uh, 
me and Charlie, I don't think, I, I haven't got any regrets coming here. I don't think you have. No. Um, I know Val was very upset to go. So, um, you know, it's definitely 100% positive feedback from us. And, I mean, t to come here, I was, I was deliberating a bit. I was like, oh, should I, should I three months is a long time, you know. Um, oh, no, my job might not be there when I get back and I might lose some friends or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the fact is, these three months have gone by in a flash and they're infinitely beneficial, you know, and the spiritual benefit you get from it is, um, can't be measured really, so uh, definitely recommend it. And what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say to aspiring oh, yeah. butters out there? Um, yeah. Yeah, if you've got don't, any advice. Yeah, or don't forget to bring a toothbrush, don't forget to bring a towel, <laughs> don't forget to bring some dirty clothes, because you might have to go on the fields at yeah. some point. Well, um, old clothes, they don't necessarily Don't, just, don't dirty. just bring dirty clothes, just bring mud drenched clothes into the temple. It's not so, bring clothes that you're willing to get dirty. Um, and uh, yeah, just come with an open mind and uh, the uh, determination, some some determination See that you want through. to progress you know, in spiritual life. So, so even if you go through trials, that you'll be willing to go through them in order to progress. That's the best attitude to have, I think. So, you know, even if you get criticised or whatever, just take it in a humble mood. If you can, and uh, yeah, just try and uh, see it through, and you'll, you'll definitely won't regret it, I'd say. Okay, well, uh, thanks for your time, and uh, we'll speak to you again before the end of the course. Awesome. Bem Prabhu Ki Jai! Right, can I say Jai for myself? <laughs> jai! <laughs> Charlie Prabhu Ki Jai! Not Jai, let's say it! <laughs>